Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Welcome to day, what day is this? I am sorry. Hey, welcome to day five on question week on Chill Time with Kelly. I am your host, Kelly. And sorry if I just like blanked out for a second. This, I've been batch recording for a while now. This is, uh, batch recording is not, it's not easy sometimes, but you know, it comes with being a podcaster and you know, I'm not complaining because I really love it. <laughs> Anyway, um, so this question um, that I'm answering, how do you manage your time so well? I feel like this is a question that probably the, my most asked question out of all my friends. Um, just so you know, all these questions that I'm answering for question week, these are all questions that so many people have asked me. This is not, I did not post anything for like a Q&A or anything like that these are just all questions that I feel like I definitely should answer sir, because they're so common and definitely sounds like people are curious about it so here we go so how do you manage your time so well because and this question definitely was super super interesting because I definitely see a lot of people who tell me oh I don't have time for this and that because I constantly have to do this or that and well I'm not saying that those are all invalid reasons to have time, have like, you know, not the best time management. They're all valid. And, but I do think it also comes with a tear. There's a difference between managing your time well and just, how do I say this? This, um, and just not being mindful of your time there's a difference um and what i mean by that is there's a difference between managing your time time and like just like being able to like work on a schedule and still have time for yourself but it's also a difference when you just let your work schedule just overtake your life and just then you don't have any time for yourself and then you resent yourself for not having time or then you start um, ranting to your friends like oh I don't have time to meet you because I have to do this and that well that's where time management comes into play and if you don't want to be doing time management then you know that's uh, then it's that and you're stubborn about it like I mean I'm not saying that you know I've definitely known people like that who are definitely stubborn with their time management and then just literally harass me in their own time because I've definitely I had this one experience where this one person was the worst with time management and was so selfish with their own time that they were not taking other people's time and like else's time into consideration I think that's also really important because it's one thing to ask me like hey, do you have time for dinner tonight? I really want to see you. And then I say, no, I'm sorry. I am working today, Um, you know, and then I cannot be available until, af- until, you know, after this time. And then the response would be, can't you just tell your boss that you have to leave early? And I, and then that honestly just, kind of aggravates me a little bit because that person did not know my specialty because I leave like especially in my field I leave once I'm done because I cannot leave early and just think oh my experiment is going to be done by this certain time that's not how experiments in the science field work because yes you can have you can estimate around what time you'll be done but it also takes into a lot of factors if like you know things go wrong or things happen then you have to start all over but then you also need to get the experiment done by the end of the day you you are really like working against your own time so so I made emphasis to that person that person did not respect it at all and just got mad at me and on I'm just like you know what you're being selfish it's like, and it's just, I cannot hang out with you. 
to you and then eventually that person understood but it took a lot of explaining for me so anyway and that's kind of basically how I have to manage my time because what with experiments I always always make sure to allocate extra time if I'm meeting people like and just tell them listen I will try I and then I will let you know closer to like as the day comes on because that way I can see the schedule that of what I have to do for work and then I can work it out from there and I think that's really really important just to also be very communicative with your friends with making plans and then and that's so that's one way I manage my time is to just be communicative with everyone that I'm meeting and another one is I allocate one day like out of my whole week to record and edit podcasts and that is really really important to me because my show and my podcast is really really important to me it gives me a creative outlook I love doing it and it's just really important to me so it's really important for me to make time to record and have fun with my podcasts as well and another thing that I do now is like I said modeling I literally model I literally even have a photo shoot um for a photography company this upcoming week and as I'm recording this it's like beginning of January and I have a photo shoot already and so we I always communicate with the photographer of saying like oh um I'm available at this time that time and that time but you need to be able to pick me up up and take me to the location if you want me to be there at a certain time and that's how I set my boundaries it's just oh if you want this then like from me at this certain time okay can you are you able to pick me up if you're not able to pick me up I'll I can leave at this time and then adjust my schedule from there and it helps to have like a really flexible schedule because my schedule is pretty pretty flexible and I'm in control of it. So, and that's important to keep in mind with time management. Just know that you're in control of your schedule. Only you can keep yourself organized. And that's the best way and the best advice I could give. So anyway, um, that is how I manage my time. I'm like to the fullest. It's just really communication, being careful, and like I said, just to make sure you calendarize everything so that way you don't forget. And especially if you have short-term memory, like I do sometimes, I cannot remember everything. And then if somebody cancels on me last minute, I just take it off my calendar, like the minute it happens so I don't get confused. So anyway, um, that is going to be the end of this episode of Chill Time with Kelly. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you all tomorrow for day six of question week on Chill Time with Kelly.